All right, guys, next up on the list of things to do is creating products so that you can sell stuff and get paid and make money. That is what we're all here to do. So I'm gonna cover some of the basics in this video so that you can just quickly and easily create products and sell those products. Um, and then I'm gonna cover some more advanced stuff like creating payment links, creating stores, creating collections, and all of that stuff in another video. But we're gonna cover the really, really simple stuff for now. So again, we're in the payments tab inside the sub account, and then we're gonna go over to products, which is gonna be this page here. Now stuff that we're gonna cover in a later video is collections, inventory, and product reviews. But for now, we're just gonna go and we're gonna create a super simple product. Now, I'm connected to Stripe, as you saw in the previous videos. Um, so within this, we have an option. We can import products that already exist in Stripe. So if your client or yourself already have an active Stripe account and you've already got products in Stripe that you wanna pull into high level, then you can do the import from Stripe option right here. And you can search for your Stripe product. You're gonna find it based on the product ID. Um, so there you go, we've got all of these different product IDs here. Um, now, one thing that's also really, really important is that if you're using the SaaS configurator and you've created your SaaS configurator products, you're gonna be able to find that price ID um, within Stripe and you're gonna search for that price ID here. That's gonna create a product that is based on your SaaS configurator product. When that product is purchased, it's automatically gonna create the sub account and it's automatically gonna load the snapshot and have the settings and configurations that you set in your um, SaaS configurator. So. Um, in this case, let's just pull in a random product. So this is another one of my businesses that I'm starting. You can decide whether or not you can do a setup fee on this or not. In this particular case, I'm not gonna do it. And then you just go import product price from Stripe. And just like that, we've got the product in here now. You can give it a description. Um, you can add a picture or an image you can enable a product label. Now this stuff here is gonna be more specifically used for when you're creating a store, but I'm not gonna cover that right now. I'm just gonna cover the basics. Um, you can add your product tax code. And again, this goes back into your tax settings where there's a bunch of different options here and a lot of us are gonna be selling digital products, but if they're selling physical products, you can try to find the tax product code in this list here. Okay, now the next up is, do you want to include tax and prices? You can set this up to be used as per your global settings, which we covered in the last video on your payment integrations and settings. Um, if you do select this, it's automatically gonna add whatever tax you set. Now I can just say, no, tax is not gonna be included or yes, tax will be included in the purchase price here. If you've created a tax rate, you need to attach a tax rate to the product. So you're gonna select this, and then you're gonna select the drop down, and this is gonna show you uh, the tax rates that you've created. Now I started creating the 5% GST one for Alberta, but I didn't finish it. If I had of, it'll show up here. Uh, but a lot of the times what I do, because I sell internationally, um, I just leave those off, and then if any Canadian buys from me, I just add the tax later on down the line. So these are your product settings right here. Now we've got the product price. Now obviously, because I pulled this in from Stripe, it automatically comes in with a $2,000 price tag. If I wanted to create another product variant, I can do that here. Um, I'm not gonna do that in this particular case. We're actually gonna go through another one and set it up completely from scratch to show you guys how it works. Now it automatically, because I'm connected with Stripe, it automatically has a test product ID so that I can run this in test mode. And it also has a live ID um, where I can run it in live mode. So there you go. That is importing a product from Stripe. So now I'm just gonna go back, I'm gonna delete this out of here, and then we're gonna go and we're gonna create our own product from scratch. So let's go create product, and we're gonna enter a title. So this is going to be a custom CRM build product. Um, we do a lot of these ourselves, and if you wanna learn more about how to do that, you can click the link below this video um, and get a little bit more information on how we sell custom builds inside High Level for high ticket prices. You can add a description for this product here. You know, we build and deliver high quality custom CRM solutions. Right, there you go. We can add a picture if we so choose. Again, product label is gonna be more specifically for store-based products, which I'll cover in a different video. Uh, but effectively what this is, is that on your store page, if you wanted to have a featured or a you know on sale or Black Friday deal, you can add a label that's gonna put that label on top of the image inside your store is effectively what that's for. Um, we're not gonna cover all these things again, because we just did. 
Now, here is where you can set up the prices. So you can choose to have either a one-time or a recurring price point. So um, a custom CRM build for us is generally a one-time product. And so we're gonna say the standard amount is gonna be $5,000. And then you can come here and you can choose the currency that you want. We do everything in USD here. And then if you want to, you can add a compared at price. Now this is again, set up specifically for stores um, where it'll show you know $5,000, but it, normally it's $8,500. Um, that's what you can show here. It's just gonna add that price slash um, in the compared at price. You also have the opportunity here to track inventory. If you're selling physical products, you can put the inventory quantity in here and then you can choose whether you want to continue selling it when it's out of stock or not. And again, in a store environment, this is gonna be far more important than what I'm showing you guys right now. So we're gonna turn that off. Um, and now we've got a one-time price of $5,000 with no compared at price here. And then you can add product variants down here as well. So if you're selling things like t-shirts and you've got you know a logo t-shirt, but you're selling it in small, medium, large, and you're selling it in red, black, and blue, you can create all of your product variants right here. Now I'm giving you a terrible example by showing you a one-time $5,000 price point, but I will cover this stuff in more detail when we cover the store functionalities. And again, search engine listing is also going to be a much more common thing that you're going to use if you build a store. But in this particular case, I'm just creating a single one-time product that people can use um, and buy for you know us to do a custom CRM build for them. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hit save for now. But now I wanna show you the other way that you can do this, which is to create a subscription-based product. Okay, so we're gonna go and add another price. Um, and this time we're gonna do custom CRM split pay option. Okay, so this is gonna be a recurring payment this time. Um, and instead of the $5,000, we're gonna break this up into, you know, four or five, let's do five payments of 100 or $1,250. So we're gonna say it's 1250. And again, we're gonna select USD. And then we're gonna say the billing period is gonna be monthly with no trial period, because that's not what we're doing here. But if you wanted to create a trial for your product, and let's just say I did a 14 day trial on this, what's gonna happen is it's gonna, they're gonna put their credit card in, they're gonna have 14 days, and then the first payment of 1250 is gonna come out. And then that payment's gonna come out every single month until they've paid it off. So that's what that is for there. You can set the number of payments. So in this case, we're trying to, you know, we're gonna make a little bit of money by offering a uh, monthly payment option to pay this off. And so 1250, we're gonna say there are five payments. I'm gonna get rid of the trial period here. There are five payments of 1250 um, and that's gonna pay it off. Then you can also choose to add a setup fee. In this particular case, this is the setup fee. This is the build fee. But if you're going to be doing a SaaS subscription of some kind, you might want to have a you know $150 setup fee and then $297 a month, whatever the case may be. Um, because I put number of payments here, it is going to stop after the fifth payment. Okay, so they're only going to make five equal payments of $1,250, um, and then that's done. If you wanted to have a constant recurring monthly, you're just gonna put no payments in here and that's just gonna keep on charging them until that product is, until they cancel effectively. So that's how you set up recurring pricing and subscription model pricing inside of products. And again, the rest of this will be covered in the store section for this. But there you go guys, that is how you create products and now that you've got products, we can start to put these products into funnels. We can start to put them into payment links. We can start to put them into all sorts of different things um, in order to sell your services or products through the high-level platform. Hey guys, I hope you found that video useful and helpful for you getting your company set up in high-level and getting your white label started with the high-level ecosystem. Now, if you're just starting out your journey in the high-level ecosystem, or maybe you're even an intermediate, um, or consider yourself an expert that just wants to know a little bit more about the high-level platform and how you can leverage it, I would encourage you to go and click the link in the description below this video and hop into our GHL Mastery program. What do we do inside of our GHL Mastery program? Well, we have five calls every single day of the week, Monday through Friday for two hours a day, where we actually help you get into your system, help you build, help you troubleshoot, and just overall 
help elevate your overall skill set on the high level platform. So if you're interested in getting hands on every single day support, plus a couple of bonus goodies, snapshots, AI systems, the like, then go ahead and click the link below to join our GHL mastery VIP group. And I promise you, you will learn more in one month than you will in six months doing this on your own. We will see you in the next one. Take care.